good afternoon from Chicago. This is Wayne Viner for Turp Talk. Uh, Jimmy Jackson joins us. You're a Gary recruit. Yeah, I just found uh, that out. How would Gary convince you to go to Ohio State? You know, it's weird because Coach Williams was there. He, ch he totally changed the program and how you looked at Ohio State. Mm -hmm. He recruited some of the top talent not only in, from Ohio, mm -hmm. but across the country. Perry Carter, he had Treg Lee, mm -hmm. Mark Baker. All these guys were McDonald's All-American. So the tide was changing at Ohio State. Mm -hmm. And now you start to get a lot of momentum. And he recruited me. I was all in. And then when I get there, yeah. Gary leaves. So it's funny. When he started working with the Big Ten Network, I mm -hmm. said, you know, I know you wanted to go back to your alma mater. I know you wanted to you know, get back to Maryland. But yeah. I wasn't good enough for you to say. <laughs> so that's what I told him. Yeah. Uh, did you love St. John's? I went in oh, St. Yeah. John's Arena. I just loved the place. Well, it was nostalgic. I, I wish there was a way that we could have salvaged that facility. Mm -hmm. Because it's something iconic about just the feel, a lot of, yeah. you know, the former Big Ten, even in Maryland, okay, yeah. Fieldhouse, that you want to hold on to. But, you know, it, it was something about the structure, the sound, the wooden benches, mm -hmm. the wooden seats behind our benches that just made it an iconic place. The Jacklers Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Turps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and terptalk.com the number one rated maryland sports podcast again a few years uh leading up to now they would play a game in st john mm -hmm. and it i didn't have the fortune of going back because i was working but what i've gotten from the players that played and the people that went is just a feeling that uh brought back memories cool all right so let's roll forward to this season and the maryland terrapins what do you make of the development? I'll start with sticks. Well, Jalen Smith is going yeah. to be really good. But let me let me back up because yeah. Coach Churgeon is a good friend of mine. He was my assistant coach at the Philadelphia 76ers under Larry Brown. Huh. So it's kind of a connection there with Coach Churge. Mm -hmm. And I think this could be the year for Maryland. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really do. The maturity perspective of Anthony Cowan, mm -hmm. um, what he brings back, I think he has a lot to prove because he probably didn't live up to his expectations last year. Um, of where he needed to be, the development of Jalen Smith, I think Aaron Wiggins coming back. Mm -hmm. So the depth, the experience mm -hmm. is there. But like every other team, can you stay injury free? Can you maintain that focus throughout a long, tough Big mm -hmm. Ten season just to kind of get to where you need to be at the end? All right. Uh, do you have a slate of Maryland games this year? Do you know where you're going to be? Uh, I do have my early schedule. I uh, don't have my January Big Ten schedule yet to mm -hmm. see what game. But of course, when you have a team like Maryland, Maryland to me, too, is one of those programs from a national perspective when they're great, when they're really good, they carry a lot of weight. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this team progresses through the non-conference as we head in the Big Ten season. Yeah, non-conference probably not as challenging. The big game with Seton Hall. But, but, but you know what, though? Here's the what? thing, though. Maybe not challenging from a scheduling perspective, but for this team to kind of reach their expectations, I think it's a challenge for them to stay mentally focused and continue to grow throughout the non-conference despite who their opponents are going to be. That's a very good point. And with that, I know you have other people to talk to. Oh, it's all good. You got it. Thanks for being no, on no Turk problem. Talk. And we'll see you somewhere around the Big uh, Ten you got it. this season. All right.